Since the launch of Anthropic's Claude Code, we have seen a massive influx of developers using its CLI tool to assist with software engineering tasks. Why? Because it's not just a code assistant, it's an agentic AI coder that can understand your code base and help you ship faster. Now, there are some open source alternatives out there like Gemini Code or even Open Code. And while they're solid tools in their own right, they still fall short when it comes to replicating the same level of agentic capabilities as Claude code. They struggle to deeply understand complex code bases and certain features are still pretty limited. Now that's why I want to reintroduce a tool I have previously showcased on this channel. It's called Codename Goose. Codename Goose is a free, local, extensible, and fully open source AI agent that automates engineering workflows in a way that is comparable to Claude code and in some cases even better. It's fully autonomous and it is something that comes with their user-friendly TUI, which makes working with it even better than before. Now guys, say if you do not want to use the Clyde tool, they actually have their very own app that is locally hosted and it lets you work with the AI to make changes on your app, whether that's a mobile app or any sort of web app that you are creating. And you also have the option to obviously create and work with the CLI. So there you have a lot of flexibility when you're working with Codename Goose. So in this case, this is an example of you working alongside Goose to code out a task management app. And in this case, it's a to-do list app that you can work with to change as well as add different components readily right within the app itself. And you can see how easy it is to work on any sort of app or product that you're trying to ship. But before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Box. They just released their brand new state of AI in the enterprise report. And if you care about how AI is reshaping business, you'll want to hear this. Box had surveyed over 1300 IT leaders. And get this, 94% of companies are already using AI in some form, but most are still in early or developing stages. Only a small fraction have AI fully integrated across their business. So what separates the leaders from the rest? They're using AI agents for autonomous tasks, making smarter model choices and seeing up to 37% productivity gains. In fact, 90% of high ROI teams say that model choice is critical and 74% list data and privacy as their top concern when developing AI all covered in the report. This is a full-on report that dives into AI trends, best practices, as well as how to advance your org's AI maturity, whether you're just starting or scaling fast. Download the full 28-page report for free with the link in the description below and see how your organization stacks up. But with that thought, thanks for Box for sponsoring today's video, but let's now dive back into today's upload. Now to install this, it's super simple. You actually have a couple of options if you're on macOS, but to install this with your CLI, you can do this with macOS, Linux, and Windows. But unfortunately, Linux and Windows do not have the option to install the Goose desktop app. It's just a simple user-friendly app to access Goose, the Gentech framework for you to work and code alongside with the AI agent. But it's super simple to work with the CLI as well. And in most cases, I think most people would prefer Goose CLI over the desktop app if you are a seasoned software developer yourself. So you can easily follow through with the documentation, which I'll leave a link to in the description below and install it for whatever operating system you have. Now, in this case, since I'm on Windows, I'll be needing WSL. So simply go ahead and install the Linux subsystem if you do not have it. You can follow through with the installation guide, which showcases how you can install WSL. And once you have it installed, we can then proceed forward with the installation process. So let's showcase how you can install it from Windows now. You can run the Goose installation script after you have WSL installed. Simply open up the WSL command prompt and then paste in the installation script. You can then send it in and you can see it is now working on installing codename Goose. First things first, it's gonna request you to configure your provider. This is where you can add and set your large language model provider. You can set different models, in this case, whether that's an open AI provider or if it's Claude, you can use various sorts of providers, even local options, like having the ability to use uh, Olama or LM Studio. And you can even have it so that you can use OpenRouter where you can get free APIs. 
I know this is rate limited, but it's a great way for people to get started completely for free and experiment with these different tools. There's a lot of free models that you can use. I highly recommend that you use the DeepSeek R1, which is a model that you can get completely for free and create a free API key and then connect it with the actual uh, LM provider open router within codename Goose. And you can simply do that by configuring it within this section over here. So in this case, you can click enter and then you can configure whatever model that you want to use model provider so if i want to use olama i can click enter and then add in my open router api key but in this case to showcase the best results and generations i'm going to be using the anthropic api key which is where it's going to be using the cloud for sonnet or opus now guys if you want to configure another model you can simply use the goose configure command which will take you back to the main page and this is where you can add in a new provider. Now, what I also want to showcase is that you can actually add extensions. This is where you can add in built-in extensions. This is where you can use the different extension providers that Goose actually provides, like JetBrains. You can add memory, the computer controller, which will control your computer, or the developer, which is the software engineer that can work with you to develop anything. You also have the ability to use MCPs, and I'll leave a guide to showcase how you can set up the MCPs within the description. So in this case, if I want a built-in extension, I can enable the developer tools itself by clicking enter, which will enable it. You can also enable the controller and you can set the timeout limit in seconds if you would request it to. Uh, I'm gonna just leave it as the base uh, 300 and then click enter. So now that I have enabled all of these different extensions, we can then proceed forward and showcase how you can use it. After all the configurations are set, you can easily start running Goose with this uh, command over here where you can start it up within your terminal. So copy this and paste this within your command prompt and you can see that Goose is running entering your instruction. This is where you can now work with it and you can essentially have it initialized into a project. So now you can request any sort of instruction like creating a task manager app that uses local storage and make it look modern. So in this case, right away, it is going to scan the information matrices. And guys, what's nice is that if you want it to open up something or do any sort of task that is pretty menial, it can go and work around doing this task. And it can even work on debugging things and even installing certain dependencies for you. And there we go. We have our task manager app, which looks pretty good. And in this case, it's pretty sleek and modern where you have the ability to add new projects. So in this case, we have a YouTube video project where I can add this. And within that project, I can add tasks that I need to do that are in progress and that are complete. So let's say make a video on code name and then I can add that task. And then we also have the ability to add a status, the description, add a subtask and a bit more. So you can see the effort it took into creating this app, which looks pretty awesome. Now, in another prompt, I actually created another app with it, and this is something that it was capable of doing. It added a dark mode, which is pretty cool. The priorities are listed on the top as well, and you can see that there's a couple of different tabs that it has listed out and created. So overall, it did a pretty decent job with both of these applications that were created, and both of these apps are pretty intricate, and it was able to code it out quite quickly as well. Now, another scenario where Goose works really well is in terms of attaching it to a code base. And this is where it can thoroughly use its agentic capabilities powered by the model, as well as with additional plugins to thoroughly make changes across the overall code base. It has the context and analyzes each component after it has been initialized within a project. And this way, it's able to make the right changes that are necessary to your code base without having any sort of errors and making sure that there's a testing process that thoroughly makes sure that the code base edits are functional and that it doesn't interfere with any sort of other component. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on Codename Goose. I highly recommend that you take a look at it as it's an efficient software engineer that will be able to delegate any task that you give it and it's able to help you in a lot of different cases. Now, it is a great alternative 
to cloud code as well as open code that is completely free and then having it powered with a free API like that you can get from Open Router. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join our newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.